On the right and left, you see the side altars of St. Joseph and Mary. Uh, those were also original to the 1860s. The uh, pulpit was original to the 1860s, as was uh, some of the artwork on the right and on the left are original from the 1860s. Um, you can see in the background on either side of the Rererdos that there are six angels representing the parts of the crucifixion. Each one of them is, is holding part of that symbolism. There's the, the nails, the uh, crown of thorns, and so on. But the interesting part of that painting is the, the painter, which is, as a father, I can understand, he used his daughter's likeness for the faces of the angels, which may or may not be appropriate anymore. Uh, in, the 18, in the 1980s, things were simplified on the main altar. The two, two statues on either side of Joseph and the two statues on either side of Mary were removed because they were felt to be a distraction. One other item that was uh, here during the early 1860s were the Stations of the Cross. Those are the original three-dimensionals from the 1868. Uh, but in the 1980s, when they decided to simplify the church, those re were removed and simple wood-backed uh, copper-painted ones were, at, were placed in to replace. Fortunately, we had a, a student, a former student of St. Mary's High School who had a construction company and rather than see these Stations of the Cross destroyed or distributed it willy-nilly, he gathered them up and stored them in a, uh, one of his warehouses. And then when uh, the uh, Stations of the Cross refurbished them and they were rehung. So the, those are original Stations of the Cross. They were, they were missing for about 20, 25 years because of the Vatican II.